I encourage anybody uh, who's uh, running any kind of service business at all uh, to adopt that kind of uh, approach. And I, I actually call it paid lead generation. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the High Level Spotlight Sessions, where we showcase awesome marketers doing awesome marketing. And today I'm thrilled to be joined by John Jantz of Duct Tape Marketing. John is a consultant, he's a speaker, a best selling author. He's the creator of Duct Tape Marketing uh, System and Duct Tape Marketing Consulting Network that trains and licenses small business marketing consultants around the world. John, thanks so much for coming on the show. Well, happy to be here. Looking forward to talking about marketing. Well, you've certainly um, got the experience and I've got a couple of great topics to try to pull some knowledge out of your brain for our community. Um, the first of which I love talking about especially with people like you who can confidently give this advice that so many young marketing agencies need, which is charging a premium for your services, which I feel like everyone's scared to do. Um, but in the note I have from you, it's about finding a unique point of view and positioning to justify your premium uh, price. So talk to me about this. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the key there is, is you do have to have some sort of point of differentiation. Most people go into looking for a marketing agency you know, lining up maybe three people that they found or that got referred to them or whatever it is, they've got a list of three and they start making, you know, they, their, their analysis is like pros and cons. Cost, you know, is one of them, of course. And a lot of times if we're not giving them other things that, that make us incomparable in some mm -hmm. ways, then they're going to default to price. And, and that's, you know, of course, not a great place to compete. But for example, uh, when I started going out and, and trying to, to land clients. I mean, I, I was in Kansas City, Missouri at the time, which is a town that probably has about 200 people doing marketing of some sort. Uh, so, you know, how do you cut through that clutter? Well, I decided uh, pretty early on, frankly, that, that if I was going to compete, I had to come up with some sort of point of differentiation. And mm -hmm. for me, what seemed like kind of an odd thing is that a lot of marketing, a lot of companies were putting their marketing together by pieces or tactic or idea of the week. We were just starting to get social media platforms. And so it was like, you know, they were just buying tactics. And mm -hmm. so I decided what I was going to do is I was going to walk in and say, look, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what you're going to do. Here are the results we hope to get. And here's what it costs. We're going to install a marketing system. And you could just see their eyes light up like, wait a minute, why isn't anybody else called it a marketing system? And so, <laughs> I just thought it was like advertising or something was, you know, what it was. And that point of differentiation still, you know, that was 20 plus years ago. And still today, that's still a pretty unique point of view when it comes to mm. small business marketing. And so what it did is when they were comparing somebody else, they were talking about all the SEO stuff they were going to do and all the, you know, social media stuff they were going to do and how their ad funnels were going to work great. And I was talking about building, starting with strategy before tactics and building a marketing system that was going to allow you to grow and scale your business over time. And so it was like, well, how do we compare the two? <laughs> Plus mm -hmm. I was also not charging an hourly fee or a project fee. I was, I was a long-term retain, retainer engagement that, uh, that really kind of, um, gave credence to the idea that marketing is never done this. We're going to work together forever because, you know, you're going to grow and scale your business. And so, you know, those kind of points of differentiation um, um, made it hard for them to actually compare. I mean, the, there were some people who were like, no, I don't want a long-term retainer. Well, great. That's not who I want to work with. Mm. Um, but, but the people that that idea of a marketing strategy of, of, you know, really defining and narrowing who your ideal client is. I mean, the people that that message resonated with, price went down the list because I was the only one talking about it. Yeah, that's interesting. So you, you pointed out, you brought up a lot of great points. One, I loved how you, you sort of coined a term, right? And I know so many agencies who've done a great job of that, of saying, look, it's, it's, we all play in the same space, but it's all perspective, right? If you can come up with a unique way to portray your package, put it in terms that people can understand, especially if you can relate it to your niche, right? Like I love when agencies are able to come up with something that fits within the niche um, to help explain the concept. That's a, that's a differentiator, right? As opposed to just coming in and be like, yep, we do ads, we do this, we do that. Um, it, it's a different way to tell the story. Uh, I thought that was a great point. So Go ahead. I would add that, that, you know, that we did too, is everybody else was talking about their solutions. 
Um, and SEO people, I hate to pick on them, but they're so easy to pick on. You know, they had a 37 point solution that they mm. were going to bring to the table, none of which made any sense to the, to the buyer. And what we were talking about is how would you like to rank above your competitors? You know, how would you, how would you like price not to be the first thing that somebody asks about? So we, we really dug in and understood the problems that small mm. business owners were waking up in the morning and saying, gosh, darn it, why does my competitor, you know, on this place and I'm not? Um, and that's, that's, you know, what th those are the problems problems that we're able to solve with our solutions. They don't want consulting. They don't even want SEO. <laughs> they mm. want the phone to ring. And so, you know, you, you really have to then package that in a way that, that really helps them understand that, that you get them. That, that you get that, that marketing's confusing, that marketing's out of control, that they, they don't know what works and doesn't work. Um, mm -hmm. And so by addressing those problems in all of our original sort of material and content, it gave us kind of a leg up to, to somebody who said, okay, I wanna, you're, you're, you're saying something different than everybody else. Yeah, that's a great point. And I always found, like you said, they don't wanna pay for any of this stuff, right? Nobody wants to hear that you have to pay for ads. But hey, we can also do SEO. That's organic, right? And so if you can tell the story from different angles in a way that relates, that does help you stand out. So talk to me about the next point um, that we had mentioned was getting prospects to pay you while you sell them even more expensive long-term retainer engagements. So talk to me, what is that initial sale that you like to go for? So, so you know, it's become really common. 10, 15 years ago, it was kind of unique, but now everybody's got a free evaluation, you know, or a mm -hmm. free website review or, you know, something that, that, you know, let's face it, it, it's, it's an attempt to get a conversation with somebody to point out, you know, things that are wrong and then maybe point out how we could solve those. And there's nothing wrong with that approach, except what I found is it scales to infinity. <laughs> you know, there are mm -hmm. a whole lot of people out there that want to free something. Um, and so, and so what would happen is, you know, we, we'd maybe schedule 50 of those and, well, let's face it, 15 people just wouldn't show because they mm -hmm. didn't agree. Um, then another 10, you know, never we're going to have the money to pay for our services. And so, it, you know, we, it still worked and it still does work, but it was a lot of work. So what we switched to was a, a what we call a total online presence audit. It's something that uh, we charge and our consultants in our network charge about a thousand dollars to do. Mm -hmm. And it's, and it's, it's awesome. I mean, we look under the hood at their website. Uh, we look at their content. We look at their SEO. We look at the, uh, their ads if they're running ads. We, we run, you know, some, some information on their reputation. Uh, so we really give them a thorough analysis of what they're doing. In some cases, they're working with somebody else and they just... They, they see it as a, as a way to kind of like, is this working? You know, am I getting my money's worth? In other mm -hmm. cases, they just, they aren't working with anybody and they see this as a first step. But here's the key. We charge a thousand dollars. It is worth every penny of it. Um, but what happens is there are some people that are like, oh, well, no, I'm not spending a thousand dollars for that. The people that do spend a thousand dollars for that, look at it as an investment in their marketing. And that's who we want to work with is because mm -hmm. that's what marketing is. It's an investment if it's done right. So we get people that are looking for that as an investment. So it has a tendency to attract the right people, serious people. I've never had anybody not show up for the presentation that they paid a thousand dollars for. Um, <laughs> and, it, and it also allows us as the consultant to do a lot of the work that let's face it, we sometimes don't get paid for. It's just how we write a proposal. I mean, we got to look at where the pain is and look at where the, uh, the bottlenecks are in order to write a proposal. So what we found uh, was also happening was not only did we, we get a much more qualified buyer, almost 100% of them converted uh, to mm. a long-term engagement because they were the right buyer. They, they got to spend time with us and experience the value that we could bring. And then we literally uh, crafted our proposal is like, well, here's everything we talked about. You want to know how much it would cost to fix all of that? And by that point, they're like, yes, 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 please. Yeah. So, so it really, you know, I, I encourage anybody uh, who's uh, running any kind of service business at all uh, to adopt that kind of uh, approach. And I, I actually call it paid lead generation. So is this something... You know, this sounds fantastic, right? Everybody listening is like, I would love for people to pay me to do the audit. We do it for free. It's a pain in the butt. It takes time. We don't, you know what I mean? But that's scary to go out with if you don't have case studies already to prove, you know, with, and you don't know how to do it. So is that part of your program? Yes. Do you give them the framework of yeah, how to do it? Absolutely. So as you mentioned, we, we have a network of consultants that license our methodology, all of our tools, all of our 
processes like the one I just mentioned, as well as frankly, having a group of 150 or so like-minded souls to, to collaborate with. Um, but, uh, but that uh, process, the total online presence audit is a process that we have a complete training on that we have all the forms, all the checklists, all the how-to uh, video to, to actually do it. But having said that, uh, there's no question that people, especially people just getting started, which we have a lot of people that look at us as a great way to kind of launch their business. So for those folks, I mean, go out and do a couple free ones. <laughs> you know, nobody gets hurt. You know, go out and do it for $199. Great. You're still probably going to attract the right client. Um, so, so there's no, you know, hard and fast rule, but, and, and we actually have some consultants that will say this is a, if, if they're talking to somebody and they think, yeah, this is, a, this is an ideal client. I mean, this is a client I'd like to work with. You know, sometimes they'll say, hey, it's $7.99. If you decide to work with us, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll credit that, you know, to the first month's retainer. So there's lots of ways uh, to, to skin that. And, and, and there's no question, you know, one of the things I've, I've discovered, uh, because I've done hundreds and hundreds of these now, is once you do like your first 15, you realize everybody's making the same mistakes in the same places. Yeah. <laughs> so you get really good and, and efficient at it. And, and there's, you know, between extensions and some paid tools, there's a lot of tools out there that can produce, you know, a lot of this information and data for you. Yeah. And I love, I, I think that's pretty common, right? So yeah, it's a thousand dollars, but if you end up working with us, it goes towards your first invoice or whatever. Um, I think another common one I, I've heard from these types of systems is, Hey, you know, whether or not you end up working with us, you're going to be able to take what you're going to get from this and go give it to somebody else who can help, or it's something that you can take with you, yeah, you know? And that's the absolute truth. I mean, it, it yeah. absolutely uh, absolutely is, um, you know, no, no question about it. You're paying for actionable knowledge that we know how to find, but knowing how to do the reports is, is if you're, again, if you're new, that's tough. So that's awesome. I think that's incredible that as part of your system, you sort of get the whole guide on here's A to Z, how you do it, because it is actionable knowledge that is worth a thousand dollars. Um, and man, getting paid up front to, before you even, you know, open your computer is the way to go for sure. And we've even, you know, we have a Consult one last point on that on pricing is is you know I feel so confident. I mean we've we've uh, for years offered a money back guarantee on it. You know nice. Sign up for it and if, if it's not what you thought it was or you don't feel like it's worth you know the the money you paid, we'll, we'll give you your money back. I haven't had a single person ever take me up. Wow, that's awesome. That's a testament to your program. That's great. So the last point that I wanted to talk to you about was delegation. How do you build an army of people that you can delegate tasks to so that you can focus on growth or sales or whatever it is that you need to do? Yeah, about 75% of the folks in our network are solopreneurs. Um, and some of the attraction is that we have also have a, a, a partner program of providers. Uh, some of them are, are internal. I mean, we have some web designers and things that are that are members of our network. Um, and so we've built kind of this on day one, somebody can actually walk in and, and have a, a source for content, have a source for SEO, uh, have a whole suite of tools that, that can help them do analytics and help them do you know, social media um, and get, you know, th those tools are readily available, but get discounts through our, through our network. Hmm. Um, but but the other thing that we have is is a very step by step you know how to do strategy first for example that's kind of our every one of our engagements start with this strategy first and and i would hold our our approach to developing strategy for small business up to anyone just because i've i've now heard it countless times from from folks that have joined us to say look i've been you know i'm a believer in strategy but i've never seen anything that that, that is like this as detailed as this but then we actually have uh, an implementation uh, structure as well. And as I said, a, a, you know, a set of, of partners that you can help delegate to. We also have in our network, uh, a couple of VA virtual assistant, virtual marketing assistant organizations that, that then provide implementation uh, folks uh, for you know, fairly reasonable cost. And the way we've been able to do that is because our process is so systemized, we're actually able to train folks to work with our consultants because they know what our process is. They know what our steps are. Now, that allows somebody really who doesn't want to add any overhead, doesn't want to add any, any folks and, and basically kind of wants to uh, pay for some services as they get clients. It allows them to kind of from day one, start from the scratch, from scratch. But most of the folks that, that join us that, that you know, get five, six, seven, eight, you know, long-term retainer clients also add a level of account management. And our structure is pretty simple, is to, to actually have somebody internal or maybe two people internal that are account managers that work under the consultant. So the co consultant stays very focused <clears throat> on 
on uh, obviously business development as all, at all times, uh, but then the strategy component and the client relationship component, and that account manager does a lot of the work with um, with the you know managing the projects, managing the outside providers, because anybody who's tried to outsource and delegate knows that you spend a fair amount of time just managing the, the, the partners as, mm-hmm. as, you know, to get work done and to keep things moving. And so um, our, to me, the, the real key to that is having that, you know, the consultant, then the account manager, and then the layer of providers that you can uh, delegate to. Yeah, that's awesome. So, I mean, that takes us back to sort of the first point. It's very hard to differentiate, differentiate, differentiate yourself in the market if you're a solopreneur who's only providing one service, right? You really need to be able to sell the holistic point of view, you know, how do we get leads in? How do we close them? And then how do we turn them into more leads? And, and that requires not just lead gen, right? And so having access to a network of people that can help you with the services that you don't know how to do is critical if you really want to stand out. Yeah. And, I, and one of our real keys is, I mean, because everybody, you know, in our network has somebody approach me and says, oh, you do marketing? Well, I need a website. Well, we all know the problem with that is, well, yeah, you need a website, but uh, you also need content, you need SEO, <laughs> you know, you need mm-hmm. a structure that, uh, that that makes that, you know, content built around a strategy that makes sense. And so, you know, we always back people up. Sure, we do websites, but what we really do is develop a strategy so that we can create a marketing system. No question, the website is the hub of that business. But mm-hmm. uh, I think that approach also is one that, uh, you know, there are a lot of marketing folks that just whatever you come to them with, we need paid ads. Okay, we do paid ads. Um, but, you know, I, and it always puzzles me because, you know, I've gone into organizations and said, we need to make a change. We go in there and they've got a, a pay-per-click person. They've got an SEO person. They've got a content person. They've got a web designer. None of them are talking to each other. It's mm. kind of like, how does this work? Yeah. <laughs> how, how did you think this was going to work? So, <laughs> you know, that, that integration piece is so important. Yeah, absolutely. So John, if people are listening and they like the sound of having a network of support like this is ducttapemarketing.com. Is that where they should head? Yeah. So it's just ducttapemarketing.com and they're on the the homepage. I mean, you'll see, we have lots of training, lots of information just for small business owners as well, because that's um, a a big part of our brand of who we serve, but uh, you'll see a big old, big old box there at the top uh, that talks about uh, using our system with you, with your clients. So I'd encourage you to come there and, and, when you start looking around, you know, we, we actually have obviously some resources you can download and, and get a little feel for uh, some of what we do about every other week. I actually personally hold what I call a live discovery call where I basically just go over the nuts and bolts of uh, kind of show you under the hood of, of what uh, the, the package and what our offering is all about. Very cool. Well, we'll be sure to link it up. John, thanks so much for coming on. We really appreciate the insights. Oh, my, my, my pleasure. You know, I could talk about this stuff all day. Long. Sorry to keep you off the slopes. <laughs> Looks like a nice day. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a, what we call a bluebird day uh, in the slopes. Nice. Awesome. Well, thanks again for joining. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.